Thomas and Percy are good friends, but sometimes Percy teases Thomas about being frightened, and he doesn't like that at all. One evening, he was dozing happily in the shed, but Percy wanted to talk. Wake up, Thomas! Are you dreaming about the time you thought I was a ghost? Certainly not. Anyway, I was only pretending to be scared. I knew it was you, really. Percy went on teasing him. I hope the guard leaves a light on for you tonight! Uh, why? I quite like the dark. Oh, really? I am surprised! I always thought you were afraid of the dark! I wonder why? Says the engine who got scared by an old mine because of sinking buildings and naughty gnomes. And the engine who got scared by an old steam whistle. <laughs> Thomas decided to say nothing, so he went to sleep instead. Next day, the fat controller arrived. I would like you to go to the harbour tonight and pick up something rather unusual. What sort of something? Wait and she. Percy was moving trucks into a siding. Henry arrived with a goods train. The signalman switched the points and Percy waited on the siding until Henry had steamed by. Then there was trouble. The points are jammed. I can't switch them back. The workmen will mend them in the morning. It's too late now. Hum, I'm sorry, Percy, but you'll have to stay here for the night. Where are you going? Home for tea. Percy was speechless. He watched as the other engines went home to the shed. Night time came, and Percy began to feel very lonely. Oh, oh dear. It's very dark. <coughs> What's that? It was only an owl, but Percy didn't realise this. I, I wish Thomas was here too. Thomas was waiting for his mysterious load at the harbour, when suddenly, there it was. Cinders and ashes! It's a dragon! Don't worry. This dragon is made of paper. It's for the carnival tomorrow. Workmen lifted the dragon onto Thomas's low loader and put lights all around it for protection. Then Thomas steamed off into the misty moonlit night. Percy was asleep in his siding, and had no idea that Thomas was approaching. Help! I'm not going to open my eyes until China comes! Next morning, the points were mended and Percy puffed back to the junction. Gordon was just about to leave with the express. You'll never guess what I saw last night! 
Gordon was in no mood for puzzles. I'm a busy engine. I don't have time for your games. I've seen a huge dragon. It was covered in lights. Gordon snorted. <laughs> You've been in the sun too long. Your dome has cracked. When the other engines heard the news, they laughed too. Look out, Percy, or the dragon may gobble you up. No one believes me. Maybe I did imagine the dragon after all. But Percy soon found that he hadn't. Help! Save me! It's alright, Percy. And he explained about the carnival. By the way, how was your night out? Percy decided to tell Thomas the truth. Well, Percy, maybe we do get scared sometimes, but if we're not afraid to tell each other, then that means we're quite brave too. Hello Mel, it's Thomas. I know it's a bit late, but I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. All the best for the future. Uh, sparkle sparkle, or something. <laughs>